the liver meridian of Foot Jui Yin. The liver meridian starts at the base of the nail of the first finger of the back leg, and it runs inside of the leg, the ankle, tibia, thigh, and then goes up to the abdomen and ends at the chest. The landmarks are LR1, LR4, LR8, LR13, and LR14. LR1 is on the lateral side of the first finger of the back leg. Dog's first finger in the back leg is usually degenerated and it's not there. The first finger in the back leg is called the declaw. On the outside of the declaw, there is LR1. Next is LR4. LR4 is cranial to the medial malleolus that is inside the ankle. Cranial to the medial malleolus, there is a tendon stretching from the cranial tibia muscle that is running towards the front. You locate LR4 in the depression medial to that tendon. In the back leg inside, there's the medial malleolus. Cranial to the medial malleolus in the depression, you have LR4. The inside of the ankle of a dog, we have the medial malleolus. Cranial to the medial malleolus, and in the depression, you have LR4. Next is LR5. Before explaining LR5, I'll first explain the landmark. The landmark is LR8. LR8 is at the middle end of the knee crease. LR8 is at the medial end of the knee crease. LR8 is at the medial end of the knee crease. Then we'll connect LR4, which is cranial to the medial malleolus, and LR8, which is at the medial end of the knee crease. And then one third from LR4 on the middle side of the tibia bone, you have LR5. LR5 is on the line connecting LR4, which is cranial to the medial malleolus, 
and LR8, which is at the middle end of the knee crease. And on this line, it is one third from LR4 on the medial side of the tibia bone. Here is LR4. LR5 is on the line connecting LR4, which is cranial to the medial malleolus, and LR8, which is at the middle end of the knee crease. On this line, and it is one third from LR4 on the medial side of the tibia bone. Here is LR4. Next is LR6. LR6 is on the line connecting the medial malleus and the medial condyle of the tibia, slightly lower from the midpoint at the medial side of the tibia. LR6 is on the line connecting the medial malleolus and the medial condyle of the tibia. On this line, slightly lower from the midpoint at the medial side of the tibia. LR6 is on the line connecting the medial malleolus and the medial condyle of the tibia and slightly lower from the midpoint at the medial side of the tibia. Next is LR7. LR7 is in the depression post posterior inferior to the medial condyle of the tibia. LR7 is in the depression posterior inferior to the medial condyle of the tibia. LR7 is in the depression posterior inferior to the medial condyle of the tibia. Next is LR13. LR13 is at the tip of the 12th rib. In a dog, there are 13 ribs. So you'll count from the back, 13, 12. And then on the tip of this 12th rib, you have LR13. LR13 is at the tip of the 12th rib. This is the 13, this is the 12th rib. At this tip, you'll get LR13. LR13 is at the tip of the 12th rib. Find the last rib, which is the 13th rib, and then it is going to be the rib in front of that. On this 12th rib on the tip, there's LR13. Next is LR14. 
LR14 is at the sixth intercostal space on the nipple line. To find the sixth intercostal space, you'll count from the back. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 intercostal space on the nipple line. LR14 is at the sixth intercostal space on the nipple line. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 intercostal space on the nipple line. LR14 is at the sixth intercostal space on the nipple line. Counting from the back, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and sixth intercostal space on the nipple line. It is the LR14.